am indeed joined by a man that Julian Palmer will know all too well. Julian Simon Chotomp joins me now in the paddock, of course, a race engineer for some 15 years in Formula One. This must be a very nerve-wracking time for race engineers. We're just ahead of qualifying. Indeed, we saw impeding causing a real issue earlier on in free practice three. That's going to cause an issue out there potentially in qualifying in traffic, certainly in Q1, isn't it? Well, the traffic will be the, the, the main issue, especially in this tricky uh, situation. So for me, the qualifying was really the best moment as a race engineer. It's the most tense. I loved it, absolutely, because this is when you can really influence, as a race engineer, the performance of the car. You have to focus on the traffic. You have to focus, you know, we have all these tool that tell us uh, traffic ahead, traffic behind. Kimi or Jolion was very, very keen on this kind of information. So it'll be very, very important. The other tricky bits on this kind of changing weather condition, and that's things that people might not know, is that if it's dry, the team are going to fuel the car just for five, six or seven kilo, just for the steam they will do. In this kind of tricky condition, all the team, what they do, they're going to fuel for the session, for the entire Q1 or Q2, to have their activity, to be able to decide if they need to change tires in the pit lane or in the garage. So that's the kind of information that uh, not many people know and that is very important in, uh, in the paddock and everybody does at the end. It must be so difficult with weather like we have now where at the moment it's not raining. We had heavy rain about 20 minutes ago and we could see heavy rain yet. What would a race engineer be doing both in dry and I suppose also in these changeable conditions right now in the well, minutes before? Well, the, the main thing is that obviously looking at the radar, all the team have very modern radar. We all have Metro of France. Meteo Chance, sometimes we call it <laughs> in the jargon. <laughs> but um, yeah, so first of all, you have some kind of accurate prediction, kind of accurate of the ways of forecast, and then you have to focus which tire I'm going to with. Inter, uh, wet, am I going to change the brake blanking? How much I'm going to change the brake blanking? On these cars, it's very, very important to have the disc, the brakes warm, because if the brakes are warm, the tires are warm, so everything goes together. So we change the mapping, we change few change on the, on the front wing setting, for example, to make the car a bit more stable. So all this kind of information, normally you have like, you wait last minute to come decision. So normally 10 minutes from the green light, you change or you take a decision on fuel level and on setup change. And how difficult is it going to be to choose your window out there and get out at exactly the right time for maximum performance? It will be extremely difficult, but you will be surprised to know that as well, the team are looking a lot what the others are doing. We used to have a spotter on the pit, pit lane, basically. He was looking on the team and he was saying, OK, Ferrari is going, go, go, go. So there is a lot of, you know, we see Formula One as a lot of uh, very technologic, very precise, and it is. But there is a lot of also common sense that you need to have look what the others are doing, which car I want to follow. I want to follow the Ferrari, the Mercedes. Up, I jump into the pit lane and I follow them. Great stuff. Thank you very much. Finally, one word, one name for pole position. Verstappen. It's simple, isn't it? There we go. Thank you so much for joining us and for all of your insight. My pleasure. I think it is now time to chat tyres, isn't it? Let's head back to the studio.